As far as Quran and modern science is concerned, in the field of astronomy, the scientists, the astronomers, a few decades earlier, they described how the universe came into existence. They call it the Big Bang. And they said initially, there was one primary nebula, which later on, it separated with the Big Bang, which gave rise to galaxies, stars, sun, and the earth we live in. This information is given in a nutshell in the glorious Quran, in Surah Ambiya, chapter 21, verse number 30, which says, Awalam yara lazina kafru. Do not the unbelievers see, anna samawati wal arda, kana tarat kum sakna huma. That the heaven and the earth were joined together and we closed them asunder. Imagine, this information which they came to know recently, the Quran mentions 1400 years ago. Good evening ladies and gentlemen. For the next few weeks we are going to study about uh, Quran and uh, its scientific errors. On YouTube and uh, many other places you can find a lot of videos of uh, Dr. Jakir Naik, who is also from uh, India who says that uh, there are so many scientific contradictions in the Bible, whereas you cannot find even a single scientific contradiction in Quran. This evening, let us uh, look into one thing that he repeatedly asserted this, uh, in this video you have just watched. He says that uh, Quran has the Big Bang Theory in its verses, and uh, he quoted from uh, Surah 21, and uh, he said that uh, there was that uh, primitive nebula from which all the mass and uh, everything uh, for the heavens and the earth came around. But first let me tell you one thing. The Big Bang does not fit into Quran or the Bible because you see, the Big Bang is an evolutionary theory. 13.7 billion years ago there was an ex explosion. From that explosion there was expansion of the mass and the space into uh, everywhere, in every direction. And uh, after billions and billions of years there was that prebiotic soup from which simple amino acids formed through electric uh, signaling and uh, from those simple amino acids polypeptides came from the polypeptides, uh, uh, complex uh, protein structures came from them, came DNA, from them came uh, unicellular organisms and from them multicellular organisms and from them onwards higher and higher organisms and uh, finally mammals and human beings that is big bang theory that does not fit into quran because quran just like bible talks about god creating adam and eve you don't find adam and eve in uh, big bang theory folks so using big bang theory is just confronting or contradicting yourself the message of quran itself the other thing we need to see is that uh, jackie naik told that uh, that uh, all expansion started from primitive nebula that is wrong. All there were no nebula. There was an infinitely dense mass, just like the size of a grape. From that mass arose everything and it expanded into all directions and all these galaxies formed from galaxies, the solar system and the planets and finally the earth formed out of it. So it was not, uh, 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 it seems that Jack Nike is presenting just to convince people and uh, to show that there is some science in the Quran, but actually it seems he didn't even understand what uh, Big Bang Theory is. And the another problem with this uh, uh, theory is, uh, you see the heaven and earth separated and there was water and uh, it reminds me of the Bible. In Genesis chapter 1 we read, Verses 6 to 9, I quote, And God said, Let there be an expanse between the waters to separate water from the water. So God made the expanse and separated the water under the expanse from the water above it. And it was so. God called the expanse sky, and there was evening, and there was morning the second day. You see, this story in Quran, the creation story, was copied from the Bible. Just like so many other stories, Quran borrowed so many things, folks, from the Bible, and creation story is not uh, an exception. And the another problem with the Quran's creation story is um, Surah 21 and Surah 41, they contradict with each other. In Surah 21, Ayah 30, the heaven and earth, they are clothes asunder. 
but in Surah 41, Ayah 11, it says this, you, you please listen. Moreover, he comprehended in his design the sky, and it had been as smoke. He said to it and to the earth, Come ye together, willingly or unwillingly. They said, We do come together in willing obedience. You see, in Surah 41, Allah is calling heaven and the earth to come together. But in Surah 21, he was calling them to go apart, which is right. Two different contradictory stories in the same book. So, Quran is um, presenting a contradictory picture. And in other words, Big Bang. I mean, let us consider, Quran is really talking about Big Bang and expansion of the universe. My question is, why didn't an Islamic scholar come out with the Big Bang theory? Why didn't an Islamic scholar write an article about the expansion of the universe before the scientists wrote about the expansion of the universe? You see, the scientific theory, even as such a scientist like Albert Einstein, he believed in a steady state theory in which universe is seen as a, in a static, non-expansive mode throughout eternity. But then came Russian cosmologist in 1920s, uh, Alexander Friedman, he said the nebula are receding from each other. And then came Georges Lameter, a Belgian Roman Catholic priest who proposed the theory that the nebula are receding from each other, the universe is expanding, and that expansion started from a primeval atom. So Christians, the Roman Catholic priest, found this Big Bang theory. And he, he, he formed the cornerstone for this entire theory and the expansion of the universe. It was not a Muslim or an Islamic scholar. So after theories were drawn, after everything is on the table, the Muslims are saying, well, we got it in Quran. And uh, that does not make any sense to me. And the other thing we need to consider is uh, these people, Judges Lameter, a Roman Catholic priest, I mean, he studied science and uh, as a vocation in his life as a priest. I mean, can you imagine an Islamic cleric doing that? No. And Muslim